As you begin the new school year... <laughs> this principal, dude. Look at his hair. What is this? this? Dude, this guy looks like he's from a Phoenix Wright game, and I've never played a Phoenix Wright game. Hello, everyone who showed up in chat. Good to have you here. Welcome, everyone. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues. You can hear the students around you whispering about something. I heard we got a transfer student. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. Is that Akihiko's voice actor? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. Homeroom is over! Your first after-school session is about to begin. Sup, dude. <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. It's him. What you want, Junpei? Oh, come on. Let me introduce myself, at least. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. This is gonna be a real test, chat. When I finished Persona 3 FES, I did not like Junpei, Ken, or Yukari. They were- I did not like any of those characters. But then after playing Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, I was like, you know what? They really grew on me in that game. They were like really neat and interesting characters in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, even though I didn't like them in the original Persona 3. So this is gonna- I don't know if there are any major changes about any of the characters in the portable version of the game. I doubt there aren't any major ones. Probably like our, our relationship to Junpei is gonna have to change a little bit because it's not just two bros hanging out, right? You would think? So, um, I'm interested to see if I will end up still not really liking Junpei, Ken, and or Yukari in this playthrough, or if after liking them more in Persona 4 Arena, maybe I'll like them more now when I play this again. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So, I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Ugh, at it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Very anime. Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Did you forget I'm in this class too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. <laughs> Ugh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? Wait a second. Can I see the log? Can you not see the log in this game? I don't see an option for the log. Which sucks. But uh, Junpei wasn't spreading rumors. Didn't he just say, like, Oh, do you two know each other? You were walking together and all? That's not really a rumor. To be like, Oh, I wonder if they know each other. That's just, like, a general question. <laughs> What is she, your nanny? Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. You know what? Thanks, Junpei. I appreciate it. No prob. My door's always open, so to speak. Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey. Did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei while walking back. I'm very good at small talk. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. You can save your game at the sign-in sheet. How nice. Welcome back. Ah, oh, Mitsuru's welcome back. I remember that. 
takes me back. I like this image of Tartarus right here. I also love that, uh, the silhouette there of the female protagonist. They put the little gender sign next to the character's name. <laughs> you really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's... Oh, I got a in my throat. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. It's a trend that just might spread all over town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year were a little late compared to other years, but they'll be at their peak this week. How nice. Oh, hi, what are you doing? Ah, just looking around. Well, there's not much to see. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my nanny. Ba -da -ba. Third floor. Why are these doors did? Oh, they're vacant rooms. What are these? Oh, Mitsuru and Yukari's. Is this how the doors are set up in the... This isn't how it's set up for the male character, right? Actually, is the male character on the second floor in the dorm, but then they put the female protagonist on the third floor with Yukari and Mitsuru? That's neat. Nameplate says Yukari. She doesn't seem to be in her room. Yep. Yeah. This nameplate says Mitsuru. Doesn't seem to be in her room. I'm surprised there's a vacant room next to Mitsuru. Wouldn't Mitsuru have like two rooms worth of room? Will you go back to your room? Yeah, why not? Later, at the dormitory lounge. Are you playing on an emulator? No, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5. It says so in my video title. A young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. It's Wednesday! Did you hear the rumor? Oh, uh, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? That's some apathy syndrome right there. You don't believe me? Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Oh, why him? I'd rather teach you Tsobu Kubota. Kubota. I don't know how to say Japanese names. We're just all gonna have to move past that. Which music is better, Persona 3, 4, or 5? Uh, Persona 5 Strikers. It has the best track in Persona history, Counter-Strike, in it. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kabuto's... Ka Ka I keep wanting to say Kabuto, because... That's the character from Naruto? Kubota? That's difficult to say. Bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh? Um, pss, who does she like? Mitsubo Kubota. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Haha, <laughs> well you know how I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, Minako. Minako gave him the answer. She must pay attention in class. I'm so popular. Oh, aren't there only like three social stats in this game? There's nothing to do, so you go back to the dorm. Yeah, I'd like my Orpheus now, please. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. Oh, it's this guy! Man, I can't wait for this guy to be almost entirely irrelevant for like 90% of the game until he's not, suddenly. Good evening. Does Strikers count? What do you mean, does Strikers count? Strikers has music in it. What do you mean, does Strikers count? Was well, Strikers not a video game for some reason? My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth for what you did to Sho. I don't even like Sho that much, but I like Minazuki. Ikutsuki. <laughs> hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. Honestly, not that hard. 
That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Who else lives here? There were only four students in this dorm. Did this entire dorm only got four students in it? Well, I guess one of them is Mitsuru, so that makes sense. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Why did you come here? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Why your forehead so big? I saw something odd. You saw something strange. Like what? Your forehead? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah. I don't think it's as uh, endearing for you to say that to a 17-year-old girl as opposed to a 17-year-old guy. <laughs> I don't know if he said the same thing to Minato in, in FES, but... Do you have another question? No. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. What are you all, my parents? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. No one says that. Please forgive the bad pun. That wasn't even a pun. It was just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. No, I won't. He barely shows up in this game. You should rest for today. Yeah, I yeah, know better to do. Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island, Batman stakes out Clayface. <sighs> this sucks. Who on earth are you? Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. Oh, the Kirijo company was, like, built on electronics? I didn't know what the Kirijo company, like, got rich off of, to be honest. The time is now midnight. Happening to me. Ugh. Ugh. Can you please just die already and get off my screen? Back at a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Who are you explaining this to? The only other person in the room is Mitsuru, who knows all this information. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... I guess Yukari is also in the room, but shouldn't she also already know about all this? As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. I love how all these keywords are listed in green and have the little book symbol next to them. As if I'm ever going to read these words in a book. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. 
Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Master. Master Minako Arisato. Shouldn't it be mistress? Well, well, we're back in the elevator. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yo, where's Theodore? I know he shows up in this game. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I feel like I'm gonna be saying if it isn't the responsibility of my own actions a lot in this playthrough. Is this a dream? I think dreaming is the only way you could think of a person with a nose this big. Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. I got a key! There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. What the heck is Theodore doing? Is he hunting down cola for Elizabeth again? But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes making a nap in class, taking a nap, in making a nap, taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? No, I was also homeschooled, so. Don't sleep in class, Junpei. What, why do you have to be all serious? That feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Ah, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Olakota. Ahem, I'm Mr. Okoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. Well, yeah, you, you teach classic lit. Of course you'd think that. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. Well, that sounds like you're not teaching it very well. Close your eyes for a few minutes. No, stay awake. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. No, they might say that it's Pog Champ at most. Ah, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Ah, oh, my academics, I'm a genius. Smartest woman on the seven seas. You met Yukari at the shoe boxes and decided to go back together. 